Hi boys and girls, this is Mr. Anderson from Hardy Elementary teaching second grade. I'm gonna show you today how to turn on your Chromebook, get logged in, and get to Class Link and Class Dojo. So what you're going to do first is you're gonna use the username that you were given when you came to get your Chromebook. If you didn't need to come and get a Chromebook, then you can email your teacher or reach out to them somehow and ask them for your username and password. We have a complete list and we are more than happy to give that to you. What you're gonna do is you're gonna type in your username here. This is your full email with at students.hcde.org, but they already gave us that part, so we don't need to type it twice. Typically, your username is going to be the first digit of your first name and the first digit of your last name, plus a bunch of random numbers. It may not be like that all the time, but for the most part it is. Next, your password is almost always going to be your birthday. Sometimes it's not your birthday, but most of the time it is. Now we're going to go through, press next when, you're typed, uh, when you've got everything typed up, and we'll wait for a minute while it loads. And then we're going to go ahead and get started. That's what that button says right here, so let's go. Now, most of you, when you log into your computer, this is the screen that you're going to see. This is the uh, HCS single sign-on. That means you only have to sign on one single time. And we already did that to get into the Chromebook, so we're good to go. We're gonna press the button here that says sign in with Google. And what I found is sometimes it tricks us and it loads again and we have to press it twice. So here we are. This is what we call class link. Um, all of the Hardy at Home kids are going to be using this website. The grades 3, 4, and 5 are going to be using Canvas, and the grades K, 1, and 2 are going to be using Class Dojo. Now, when this is set up completely, and some of it may not be completely set up yet, uh, you will be able to just press on any of these apps that your teacher adds to your class link, and you'll be able to go to that website without having to sign in more than just one time. So if I press on Canvas, for example, it would take me to the website. I'd have to sign on one time and then all year long, I don't have to worry about it anymore as long as I sign on to my class link. I'm gonna be sending out a document to my kids and I'll send that out to the rest of the Hardy at Home teachers as well. And it explains how class link is kind of like your home and then each of these are kind of like rooms inside your home. We'll send that document out to you pretty soon. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, press on Class Dojo here. It's going to pull up a screen. It's going to ask you to sign in. And I'll go ahead and show you that. You're going to sign in using the same information that you had earlier. So since I was borrowing a student's login information, I would type in the student's login information again. This time I add at students.hcde.org right there, and then I would type in their username, uh, just like I had before. Now, because this is another student's login, I'm not gonna go much further than that here. What I am gonna show you, you can press the plus button here to make a new tab. That opens up a new screen here, and I'm gonna type uh, something into the search bar here to show you a workaround if you can't get into Class Dojo that way. I'm gonna type in the word student dot class dojo this is all one word because that's how websites work and then we'll press dot com when i'm finished i'm going to press the enter button down here on the keyboard and it should take us right to where we need to be now if you are in my class i've already sent out a link to get you into the class uh, to your parents if you need that link again you can email me or uh, call the school and i'll be happy to give that to you if you're in somebody else's class, I'm sure they'll be glad to give you a code as well. So what we're gonna do is press enter your class code right here. And it is a four digit code. It is L-B-O-N-A-Y. Now this is another student's account, so I'm not gonna get into her account right now. But we type in L-B-O-N-A-Y and it'll take you right into Class Dojo. Once you've confirmed that you are in Class Dojo, then we are good to go and I can assign assignments to you. So you'll be able to see those when you log into Class Link. You'll go to Class Dojo and you'll be able to see those assignments. So that's pretty much how we get into Class Link and Class Dojo today. Um, I will tell you one more thing. Sometimes uh, your computer may come up with this screen first. 
let me show you right here. And if your screen comes up with this first, that's totally fine. We're going to type in our full name. So I'm going to borrow this uh, uh, student's sign-in information. So type in full name, first name, last name, and then email address. Once again, that is the exact same uh, username and password, or I'm sorry, just username that you got from earlier. This time we're going to add at students dot hcde dot org to make it complete. Now we're going to have to press the button here that says I'm not a robot. And it checks out. I'm not a robot. I'm going to press submit. And when I do that, I'm looking up here. It's loading. It's refreshing the page. And here we go. Now this page looks the exact same, but the subtle difference is that you are signed in now. Now there are two different ways for you to get to class link. You can press on the search bar here, type in class link, that's all one word, class link, and enter to search it. Another way you can get into class link right over here says HCDE bookmarks. If your computer has these bookmarks, all you have to do is press here and go to the one with the pretty blue icon. It's the only one that has a blue icon like this, and so you can press that. It'll take you right to where you need to be. For now, if you had to type it in, that's okay. We'll scroll down. I scroll down by using two fingers like this and roll down on the touchpad on my computer. The touchpad is what we call uh, the mouse on a computer that doesn't have a mouse. Now I'm going to look right here. It says single sign on. That's exactly what we saw earlier. And class link. That's what we want. Now that I've already signed on, it's going to bring me right to my home page where I belong. If you have any issues with your computer, there are a few things you can do. Number one, uh, make sure that there is no gross stuff inside whoops, of where you charge your computer. So I've got some, so some little buttons here. I'm sorry, not buttons, but some places where some things plug into. I want to make sure there's no dirt or dust or anything like that in there. That's one thing you need to look for when your computer is giving you problems. Another thing that you can do is just turn your computer off and turn it back on again. To turn your computer off, you're just going to press and hold this button. I'll show you right now. This should come up if you have uh, one type of computer. If not, it'll just have this one but, uh, button that says power off, and then you move your mouse over, and of course you press power off. Now, one other thing that you can do if you are having issues is you can uh, hard reset the computer. That means it starts it all the way over by pressing this power button at the same time as pressing this refresh button and this escape button. So what I would do is take two fingers and press escape and refresh at the same time while I'm pressing the power button. That hard resets your computer and that should fix uh, some issues that you might have. If you still have problems, then you can contact your teacher and that will help you. Okay, if you have any questions about what we've talked about today, reach out to your teacher and uh, be aware that we are going to send out some more videos and let you know more as we know more. Hope you guys have a great afternoon and I'll see you later.